Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and top five ways of preventing Windows 10 from automatically downloading updates and restarting your machine. That sucks, right? Uh, this is a new feature that Windows 10 or Microsoft is pushing out to the Windows 10 operating system because they want everyone to be on the same level, same security, critical updates, everything on the same, same path. So I'm going to show you the top five ways. One way is called metered connection. Now this option is best used with Wi-Fi devices. So the way that you uh, enable it is you go to start, go to settings. Within settings, you're going to network and internet and go all the way to the bottom. And we're going to go to advanced options. And meter connection is right here. All you're going to do is just turn it on. That's it. Good to go. That's top number one. Now top number two is stop Windows updates from auto rebooting. So this is another one. Let's go to start. Let's go to settings. And within settings, let's go into update security. Now, if you're probably saying, what are you looking down? I'm looking down because I have my notes. I've written all this stuff down before <laughs> I started doing a video for you guys. But um, I will be placing these notes at my website and placing the link at the description part so you guys could get, uh, get yourself a copy with that, right? Uh, so within update and security, we want to go into advanced options. And within the advanced option, by default, you got automatic recommended. You can actually change it to notify to restart. That's pretty cool, right? That's what you want. Uh, another one that you have is defer upgrades. Uh, I, I don't think I added this to my list, but because we're already here, let's just talk about it a little bit more, right? Uh, defer updates. Let's learn more from it. It's actually, I think it's going to open up a browser. There you go. So defer upgrades in Windows 10. Some Windows 10 edition lets you defer upgrades to your PC. When you defer upgrades, new window features won't be downloaded or installed in several months. Deferring upgrades doesn't affect your security updates. Know that deferring upgrades will prevent you from getting the latest Windows features as soon as they are available. So I didn't add this to my top number five, but this option is there. You can actually check this off and you won't get the latest and greatest features and Windows 10 won't restart your machine when you're working on an important document. And there it goes. I got a notification that a restart required for updates. So this is one of the options that you would get. Rather than restarting automatically for you, uh, I had a bunch of updates already pushing out. And there it goes. I could schedule a restart. That's awesome. So top number three on my list is this utility that Windows provided for us. And it's a utility that blocks or hides updates, especially if those updates are causing problems to your hardware. Uh, so I'm actually going to place the link at the description part for you guys. I have it on a zip. I'm going to extract it and uh, let's delete the zip. And we're going to double click on that. Now, as you saw, I already have updates already being uh ready you know i already have updates to this machine that needs to you know install and restart and all that good stuff so this is it so let's click on next and it's going to detect any problems remember it's going to show or hide any updates uh i, I believe it's going to show all the updates that the machine already has in queue and then you could actually block them so you have two options hide updates show hidden updates i want to hide some updates and these are the ones that i could hide so the lap I'm using a laptop. I'm using a Lenovo V131, and apparently Windows 10 is trying to update hardware that's already embedded within the laptop. And I don't want these. I don't want this to push out because my card reader is already working. Why Windows 10 is trying to update it? I don't know. And it, it, if I update it, there's a good chance it's gonna break it. So this option right here, top number three, you can actually hide them if you want. Now top number four and five is a little bit more technical. Uh, <laughs> because it involves going inside the registry and as well into the group policy. Now, this registry hack as well as the, um, the group policy only works with Windows uh, 10 Professional Edition and a little higher. So the way that you know what edition you have on your Windows 10, uh, you want to right click on your start menu. You want to go into systems and it's going to tell you right here Windows 10 Pro. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close that up and I'm going to right click on the start and I'm going to go to run. Now within run, I'm going to write uh, GP edit group policy MSC Microsoft console and I'm going to hit enter. Again, I'm looking at my notes <laughs> and uh, let's open this up a little bit and expand this. Let me expand this a little bit. Awesome. We want to get into the computer configuration node. And within here, go to administrative templates, Windows components, 
we want to go into Windows updates and from here the option that we want to do is configure automatic updates so double click on that now this works great for IT professionals that want to push out a group policy to their Windows 10 machines and by default it's turned off you can enable it and from here it gives you about two one four four options you could uh, notify for download and notify for install auto download and notify for install auto download and schedule for install allow local admin to choose settings and then you can actually you know configure even more and schedule a day or not so that's pretty cool i like that so let's cancel that now the last one is a little difficult it's dealing with the registry now if you don't deal with the registry a lot or you're not comfortable dealing with the registry don't try this at all so i'm going to right click again on the start menu i'm going to go to run and from here we're going to do a reg edit and we're going to hit yes on that awesome and then from here again i'm going to look at my notes and we're going to go into i'm going to double click on this open this up and we're going to go into the hq local machine within hq local machine we want to go into software within software we want to need to go into the policy node Microsoft node and within the Microsoft node we need to get into Windows within Windows we need to get into the Windows update now you have to create a folder right here uh, you're gonna right click and we're gonna create a new key and this key right here is gonna call Windows update Windows update excellent and within Windows update we want to create another key so let's create another key and this one is going to call AU. Uh, let's go AU. There you go. Inside here, you're going to right click. You're going to go to new. And we want to create a new D word. D word 32. Now, this D word is going to call uh, capital A U O options. Awesome. Now, double click on AU options, that new D word that we created. And within here, you want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you got seven zeros, and the last the last number is either two, three, or four. Now number two, if you put zero 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 seven times in number two, which is going to be eight eight numbers, uh, the number two identifies notify download and notify install. If you change the two to a three. It does an auto download and then it notifies the install. Okay, automatically downloads the updates and then it notifies you to install it. And the last one is number four, which does the auto download and then schedules the install. Now, this right here, this registry is the same thing as the group policy. So you don't really need to do the registry if you don't want to deal with it. Don't touch it at all. I would say go inside the group policy and deal with it there because it's the same thing. It gives you a beautiful, nice graphical interface to understand what you're doing here's a little difficult you don't really need to do it it is one of the top five ways to prevent uh you know updates to automatically hit your machine but uh, that's it guys those are my top five uh, i did add a little bit in between which was the defer updates and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments leave them right below and i catch you guys on the next one peace out